with Sarah and Kiwi. Um, I'm outside, guys. I just wanted to shoot a little update. All right, so I'm gonna turn the camera around. Bear with me, I'll try not to be too shaky. And this is my back deck. Barbecue over here. Those chairs were from my front porch, but they matched what we got this year. So this is, you guys know maybe the YouTube channel, I think it's called Design on a Dime. Do it on a dime. I think it's called Do it on a dime. I forget her name and she goes to the dollar store and gets um, organizing things and shows you how she organizes with what she gets there. Anyway, um, she shared her deck furniture that she got at Big Lots and I saw it and I was like, ooh, I want to get that because hubby got a, a bonus and we went hog wild. So I'll just share that. We got, we have a gazebo and under here we have what it, this is actually two sets of furniture. There's the couch, two chairs and two ottomans, and then there's two rocker, swivel rockers and a table. So it's two sets and um, I got the rug. Um, these other two end tables were just little separate pieces and we got a uh, chandelier that's like a battery operated candle so it lights up so and then the table is from BJ's and we have a it's kind of like a Costco I don't know I'm in South Jersey so it's Berkeley Jensen but this was they had this and it's a really cool table seat six has a lazy Susan I'll take that um but we had like mix and match furniture. We've been here for like 25 years. You can see over there, there's a table off in the distance. I'm not gonna zoom in. But that, we had like odd tables, odd chairs, just like, yeah, nothing matched. And so this year we threw it all out and we got something that matched and we're so happy. We love it. This is just like a deck box that we keep the cushions in. I didn't put all the cushions out because um, we've been having a lot of pop-up rainstorms in New Jersey lately. Um, this bench was over by the basketball court, but it matched, so I put it there. And then I got that little sunshine. Uh, I'm trying these palms, which I love. These were pretty reasonable. I got these early on, too, like early, maybe even late April from BJ's. They were like $14.99, but I, I'm burning them. So I, this one's in the shade for the most part now, and these, I don't know, I tried to keep them as sheltered as I can because they look so cool. It looks kind of tropical. Um, she's a lantern, too. I got that little angel. She's a lantern, like a battery-operated lamp, and that's a battery-operated lamp, that little candle. Um, what else? I got another rug over there. The rug was something I always wanted to get. You know, you always see... rug <clears throat> do it on a dime she had one too and I just thought I'm getting one so we did it and so it looks cute and we love it and I got another one because the dogs like this deck does get super hot so the dogs don't have to I'm gonna close the door the dogs don't have to um, and then I'll go sit down so you don't um, so I don't uh, get you dizzy maybe I'll sit Kiwi don't Kiwi's on my shoulder so I'm gonna turn around to turn the camera. Hold on, I gotta turn the little. Um, I have it on like a small tripod. And I'm just gonna put it on this table. Yay! So, hello, hello, hello. Um, I'll give you a little life update. I'm just gonna grab a pillow because my back. I have a hurting back. So, let's see. I turned 55 on May 19th. Um, Joe and I had our 30th wedding anniversary. I'm just trying to get her in the shot. Are you in the shot? Where am I? Here. Um, 30th wedding anniversary this year. We went to Florida. We took a little vacay together. You all right? And I was so proud of him because he did not bring his work phone and he did not do any work. So we had fun. We scuba dived and, uh, no, we didn't scuba dive. 
we snorkeled. We didn't scuba dive. Uh, we saw scuba divers, um, snorkeled and hiked and um, just relaxed and it was fun. We went to um, West Palm Beach. There's a place there called Singer Island. Mm. And so that was good. So yeah, really, I just have not had, I'll tell you why. I am perimenopause, so I'm having hot flashes. And I, I feel like there's definitely a hormonal part to that as well. Like I definitely have highs and lows a little bit more. Um, almost, you know, like comparable to PMS, I guess, and which I had to previously. But anyway, um, you know, not to like such a, like I'm doing fine. I'm fine. Like it's not debilitating or anything, but I just feel wishy-washy. Like I'm not like some days, you know, you can get up and just be like, yes, I'm going to do this, 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 this. I get up a lot of times. And I'm just like, I don't know what to do. And I'm just like, I don't feel like doing anything. So, um, including crafting. So, um, I've been doing little things. Like I took a class. I think her name is Sean Pettit. Uh, she had a, um, a workshop that she, it was like 50 bucks for a, um, abstract mixed media workshop. So I took that. I didn't love it. Um, abstract's not my thing. It turns out. Um, what else? I've just been, I've still been doing the wood burning. I've just been um, burning a little breeze here. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful day. It's like 74 degrees, which is weird because it's June 3rd. But we've been having like pop-up rain showers and just a lot of wind. May was the <coughs> like the windiest month. Um, what else, Kiwi? What else has been going on, huh? Uh, everybody's doing good. I mean, well, Matthew doesn't live here anymore. He's living with his girlfriend. And I don't, I don't think he's clean, but we still talk. Like, I talk to him. I think I'm probably going to try and go for a walk with him, uh, this week. Because he lives right near, he lives at the shore. So I love going on the boardwalk. Um, but yeah, but it's just better that he's not here. But I still go to Al-Anon and Naranon. This morning I went to Al-Anon. Um, and because it's just, it's like free therapy. It's so good, you guys. Like, honestly, if you've never, if you have someone in your life that's, that struggles with an addiction and, um, makes you crazy in the process, then go to Naranon or go to Al-Anon. Find a meeting. Google it. Go. Um, if you find a good meeting, you're good because the, the, sometimes it's just as good as the people that are there but if it's organized because chaos gets me crazy but uh anyway um what else uh i just haven't had a, a straight up crafty mojo like i i just haven't turned on the camera even if i'm in the craft room i'm just not turning on the camera because i feel like i've already done that or, you know, it's not something new and interesting that I would want to post. So, maybe I should think about doing a vid doing a, a new channel, like My Serenity Life or something, uh, about, you know, what... Because I feel like I'm on a more spiritual journey now than I am of a crafty journey. Like, I listen to a lot of podcasts. I, um, I'm trying to stay physically fit as well as spiritually um, and emotionally. So I don't know. Some changes are happening. It's, a, it's an interesting time in my life. Uh, my granddaughter's turning 12 this summer. It's insane that she's already 12. Like things have just changed um, in my life, you know. Uh, I sometimes think about getting a job which I'm very, very lucky and I don't need to work as far as financially, but it is important to stay busy and to feel helpful and to feel like you're contributing in some way. And so um, those are things that I think about a lot. And, um, you know, I'm very, I want, I want to say like, I'm blessed to have such problems as that, as whether do I need to get a job for, you know, emotional reasons but um anyway there's a lot of stuff like that that I think about but 
not as much crafty crafty stuff so maybe the I don't know if I'm gonna have to end my serenity crafts channel and maybe start a new channel uh, but I'll let you know I just wanted to say hello and um, tell you guys I'm good everything's going well uh, gonna try paddle boarding with James my son James is here and um, we can go I want to try that that was I, I had I wanted to do that when we went on vacation and we never got to it so there's a place down in Margate that I'm gonna give it a shot um, try and do things that I can still do before I'm really too old to do it so um, what else Kiwi got my doggies still I walk my doggies and just try to stay fit uh, menopause is interesting like I said I mean I get hot flashes been getting them for about four or five months um, so you know I think I'm just having a little change in hormones maybe that plays a part in it you know maybe next year I'll be whoops I'll be right back to the normal routine um, but yeah so I stay busy you know I could do uh, you know what put in the comments like what you'd like to see other than crafts if you have an interest in I could do a recipe from time to time I could just do an outing you know um, a day in the life of a, you know I don't know I don't have makeup tips or anything or you know um, I don't know like shopping and stuff like that like I like sharing my Pandora that was fun I'm still collecting Pandora um, I don't know I just wanted to say hi, and I'm rambling. Um, that's about it, really. Everybody's good, though, so I'm so lucky and happy for that. Uh, that's about it, you guys. I could have done a live, but I really just wanted to say hi real quick. Give you a little tour of my outside, because it's so nice today. Like I said, 74 degrees. Um, all right, that's about it. I'm just repeating what I've already said. All right, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.